What happens when you can craft an infinity gauntlet from any item you want? Let's go and find out. First, my goal is to create an infinity gauntlet so powerful that it can summon giant black holes that suck in everything in their path. Second, I need to summon Thanos himself as my soldier and use his powers to find any infinity stones I'm missing. And last but not least, I have to collect six <laughs> infinity gauntlets and use their combined powers to defeat a special infinity dragon. Can I do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to help me hit 3 million subscribers, go ahead and subscribe today and help us hit one whole like. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. All right, let's get some stone tools and... And okay, gauntlet upgraded. And just like that, we get an infinity turret gauntlet. I didn't think we we're going to get these things that quick. And it has the abilities of block cannon, upgrades, sharpness one. And all it says is this is the first step of many to obtain total unstoppable power. Break 10 oak logs to advance. Right. So, oh, okay. So I enable block cannon. And I guess now when I right click, okay, so I literally just shoot a block. What if I do it like this? Oh, so I think we can also spawn structures with this thing and it looks like it's just a random dirt structure not really the best thing but i guess it's something not really okay let's go get some wood now all right final piece of wood and this should give us the next gauntlet apparently Oh, and there we go. Gauntlet upgraded. And just like that, we get an infinity wooden gauntlet where we're going to be getting a whole new ability, which I'm going to guess maybe it's another infinity stone where it's going to be a tree launcher. And we also get a reach one upgrade. So a lot of stuff is being added to the gauntlet. And all it says is another step closer to the ultimate item. Okay, what is the ultimate gauntlet going to be? We literally just started. And of course, for the next challenge to get the next upgrade, we got to break 50 stone to advance. Oh gosh, wait. So is this thing going to be like a pickaxe? Okay, so we got block cannon and then tree launcher what happens when i right click oh oh it's a literally a tree okay wait can i mine stone with that one second wait find a cave real quick okay now let's see what happens when i right click in a cave okay big tree okay yep that that is a big area okay so the trees can mine i i like this a good bit mining trees and oh a spawner actually wait can i mine with this wait i literally have reach hacks with this thing that is way too overpowered why is this a thing i'm not complaining either way we no! Well, there goes the chest. I was supposed to get all that stuff. I guess we could just get it the old-fashioned way and just mine with our infinity gauntlet or a wooden infinity gauntlet. And then I think we're supposed to mine a lot of stone. And I guess mining stone isn't difficult when you literally have a giant tree that does it for you. So, uh, wait, I just got a good idea. Something that we haven't tried out yet is actually the offhand infinity stone ability, which might be a structure again. So what do we get with wood? Oh my gosh. Okay. I did not expect it to be this big already. Literally a giant wood in structure, which it kind of just looks like every single structure is kind of based on the tier. I'll go in and get those books. Don't mind if I do. And inside, it's kind of just like a nice cozy house. Not bad. Don't really mind that. And I think it kind of found me a better cave. So I guess I'll go inside here. We still haven't mined 50 stones somehow. So I'm, maybe I got to throw 50 trees. That poor spider. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sooner or later, we'll mine enough stone. I'm literally just going to throw as many trees as I can until we get the next upgrade. Like I'm just going to be spamming this until I find diamonds. I should. Oh, and there we go. Gauntlet upgraded. And just like that, we get almost. Oh my gosh, I mind so much. Hold up before we read that. What the heck? Okay. Sadly, no diamonds yet, but just like that, we get the Infinity Stone Gauntlet, which actually looks really cool. What the heck? And with this, we get the brand new ability, Mining Slam, and all the previous abilities, which I really like about these gauntlets. So slowly but surely, we're going to be getting a lot of abilities. But with this gauntlet, we also get the upgrade of Sharpness 3, and it says, pushing forward through the levels, you are another step closer. Collect 50 iron ingots to advance. So what do I get with this? So the mining is completely normal. And now what I need is not gold and not redstone, not diamonds, but actually just iron, which how am I going to get 50 iron ingots? I guess I'll just cook it all up. Oh, wait, why am I doing this? We also got the ability mining slam. So let's see, block cannon, tree launcher, and mining slam. So what happens when we right click? Oh my gosh. Okay, we are literally like a lawnmower. That's one easy way of getting iron because just like that, every single thing we slam into is going to be literally automatically cooked. So literally all I got to do is hold right click and we're going inside of every block. Okay, don't know if I prefer the tree or the mining slam. Let me know what you guys prefer in the comments down below. But just like that, we get 10 iron, which really isn't that good for how much we mine. But something I'm more curious about is actually, what's the structure going to be? I should probably not spawn it down right here because it'll make me go in the void. So let's go up real quick. All right, let's see what the structure is going to be. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. What is this? This is kind of like a wholesome structure. Okay. Oh, and an enderman right there. Okay, low key. I have no armor right now and I kind of don't want to make armor because I have a full on infinity gauntlet. This might be a bad idea, but let's try to fight this enderman. I do have reach hacks and... Oh, 
Ender Pearl. Nice. Not bad. Okay, the first Ender Pearl of hopefully 16, which uh, we're going to be getting sooner or later. I only have one life, so I should probably not risk things too much. But free iron block, I guess that'll be very easy to get uh, all the iron we need. So don't mind if I do. 19 iron ingots. And literally a free enchant table. Don't mind if I do too. Wait, could I enchant the infinity gauntlet? Oh, right. So I can enchant the infinity gauntlet apparently with also pickaxe enchants. A little bit weird, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense because I can mine stuff with this. Oh, and chain no armor loot. Also some more chests here. Oh, a bow. Not bad. And a smithing table, which we might need later. What if I can combine a netherite ingot with the gauntlet? That might end up happening. I'm not sure. And in the attic, we have absolutely nothing. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. I guess I'll mine out. Oh my gosh, this is so goofy. We're literally just mining straight through the walls. Okay, it's a lot harder to control than I thought. What if I just go like that? Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, we're getting iron now. Wait, how much of my iron do I need? I need 50 iron ingots. So I guess time to do a lot of mining. Here we go. Okay, so I think this might be the last of the iron. So I guess when we mine this and pick it up. Oh, and there we go. The next infinity golem, which is going to be the infinity iron gauntlet. That kind of feels weird to say, but I guess we're going with it. With this one, we get the brand new ability of smite. Interesting. Okay. And for our upgrade, we get an atomic punch one. What is atomic punch? Okay. I kind of feel bad for the axolotl, but I want to test it out. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, did I just mine cobblestone with that? Atomic punch. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh my god. This is the greatest ability ever. Okay. I love the iron infinity gauntlet. If you made this for the video, comment down below your favorite infinity gauntlet ability so far, because this is actually sick. And that was only the upgrade, because we also have smite, and all it says is you have gained a mythical power, only stronger awaits. And our challenge is to smite 20 mobs to advance, so can we just smite this guy? Let me real quick the ability. Block cannon, tree launcher, mining slam, and the new one is gonna be smite, so I guess we'll go up to the skeleton, and what happens when we right-click it? Oh my gosh! Okay, wait, how many things do I have to smite? 20 mobs! Okay, that's gonna take us a little bit, but either way, that is a great ability. Oh my goodness, this cave is amazing. I also gotta get a lot of water. Okay, so we need diamonds, gold, water, and definitely mobs. Oh, zombie. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised we still haven't found any diamonds, but this is the greatest ability ever made. Oh, and we also still have a structure to get from the Iron Infinity Golem. So I guess I might as well smite this guy. Okay, there it goes. I think that might be our third smite kill. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and see what structure we can get from this. But actually, before we do this one, I might want to get a little bit higher. One sec. All right, well, this might be a good spot. So here we go. In three, two, one. Oh my my gosh, a giant iron lighthouse. Well, how deep does this thing go? Oh, well, I guess we're exploring this thing. Let's go all the way back down. And I could have died there. That was a very bad idea. Also, let me real quick smite you. All right, so random giant lighthouse. Let's see what's really inside. So a bunch of chests in here and oh, iron blocks. Don't mind if I do a oh, water bucket. Can never have enough water buckets. Some more chain mail armor, which I actually do need. Might as well take that. Should probably make iron armor and literally diamonds. Okay, I'm not sure if these diamonds are going to count for a challenge, but I'll take any diamonds I can. Literally so much good stuff in here. Holy. It's a long trip up, but I guess let's see what's at the very top. Okay, so what is this thing? Real quick, let me get this guy out of the way. Okay, that's gonna be like number five. This is such a weird thing to just make from the Infinity Gauntlet. Maybe it symbolizes something, but I think I'm just gonna go down the old-fashioned way and this might kill me, but I'm doing it for the content. Okay. <gasps> that could have been a lot worse. Okay, we're good. All right, so now all we gotta do is definitely smite a lot more mobs. I think I need to smite 15 more mobs in total. Real quick though, let's get a little bit more space in this cave. <laughs> That will never get old. I love that. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay. You get smited. You get smited. You get hit. You get smited. There we go. There goes another one. Wait, do I have a limited range in this? That's so overpowered. Literally, everything's getting smited. Okay. I think we need only one more mob. So I guess after the zombie, please, please. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad idea. Oh, and there we go. Gauntlet upgraded. And just like that. Wait, what is this tier? Oh, copper. Okay. Infinity copper gauntlet. Abilities, block cannon, tree launcher. We already know all these. The main one that's interesting to me is the psychic slam. And the upgrade that gets added on top of this to make it even more overpowered, even though it's already way too overpowered, is going from reach one to literally reach 10. Your abilities only grow stronger. Mobs begin to tremble in fear. Psychic slam 10 mobs to advance. Okay, right. So block cannon, tree launcher. Um, is, is this an added ability? Why are wide creepers surrounding me? Hello? If you made this for the video, go ahead and comment down below. Wide creeper question mark. Wait, can, can I hit you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, warning. Gauntlets are prone to side effects. And I'm gonna guess that this guy was one of the side effects, right? Anyways, so let's try this out on a completely normal creeper psychic slam right click and wait Is that it? Oh, so it literally just sends him up and down and hurts him actually pretty 
pretty useful, kind of. It might not be the best thing against creepers, because they still can get very bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, we're not doing that anymore. Okay, let's use block cannon and, uh... Oh, wait, block cannon literally shoots the block I use, I just realized. That kind of makes sense. Also, there's a whole little thing of, uh, void right there. Kind of don't want to go there. Also, I just realized when I hit bats, they make it the void open up. And that's the Copper Infinity Gauntlet. It's getting way too overpowered. We're, we're gonna go up now and, uh, maybe let's find a more stable cave real quick. Our tree launcher is still pretty good. It's pretty good for finding caves, too, so don't mind if I do. Um, oh, and diamonds. Okay, I don't think I've found any diamonds at all, but I might as well. Also, the block cannon came out to be really nice. I mean, we're throwing literally copper blocks. All right, well, anyways, let's mine these diamonds real quick. That is gonna be two more diamonds. We have five diamonds in total, so in conclusion, we're kind of poor, but I think there's a way to fix that. What I need, though, is definitely a mob because we are gonna be throwing that mob across the map, and that mob might be this bat up here, which might look very weird again, but where, where is this thing? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that thing go. Okay, nice. I completely forgot what my challenge was. I'm gonna think that it's something about the psychic slam, so we should probably do that right now. Oh, gosh. Go on. Oh, no. Look at that thing go. I just gotta get a few more kills with this. Also, diamonds right there. I'm gonna go to mine you. Don't mind if I do. That is gonna be a bit more diamonds. I should probably save these for later, but you can never go wrong with mining diamonds. I used to be a diamond, actually. I probably have said this story before, so I'm not gonna take up too much time talking about it, but when I was a diamond, I actually had a... I, I made cakes. And cakes were really good. Anyways, though, besides that, let's go in and see what the structure ability is for this Infinity Gauntlet. So just like the last one, I think I might want to do this one on the surface, but just because I kind of feel risky, let's go ahead and do it right here. What do we get? Oh gosh, here it comes, here it comes. Please don't be anything huge. Please don't be anything huge. Did we get anything over there? I'm not really sure if that works, so let's try that again. Oh gosh, okay, there goes that creeper. So maybe I wasn't supposed to do that underground, so let's go ahead and try it now up here. Oh my gosh, okay, right. So now we just like that, we get one. What even is this thing? Is this a temple? I think this is a temple. And what is down here? Literally just a lot more copper. And I'm gonna guess that the loot is not that good. Wait, no, 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 no. I only have chain armor. Why? Okay, well, on the bright side, we can spawn in another. Why not? Right there. There we go. Brand new copper temple. I kind of messed it up there. Let's make sure not to explode it. That was kind of a big new move. Okay, so chain my leggings, more iron. We don't really need any of this. Also, who is dying? And I am so sorry for killing you. Oh my goodness. Oh, chain my home. I actually do need that. I should probably make some armor, but you know what? I'm kind of lazy right now. We have a straight up infinity gauntlet and one more diamond too. I mean, it's going pretty well, but now that we're done with that structure, all that we have left to do, oh, another diamond, not bad, is to actually go ahead and use a psychic ability against the mobs. We have the block cannon, which uh, <laughs> it does that. Oh my gosh. But what we're supposed to be using is the psychic slam, and I think I'm supposed to kill a lot of things with this, and oh wait, we have an enderman right there. I do need another ender pearl, so let's real quick see what happens when I fight this enderman. Oh, uh, right, we're literally throwing it across the world. Oh my gosh. Okay, fighting this Enderman is a lot harder than it looks right now. Oh wait, did I kill it? Oh, no Ender Pearl. I got it sucks. Holy mobs. Okay, we're about to get a lot of cyclic slams. Look at them go. Oh my gosh. Well, I think that might be nine. So I just need one more mob. Then we can go in and get the next Infinity Gauntlet, which I'm gonna guess is maybe gold tier or diamond tier. I'm not really sure. What's better, gold or copper? A, a bit of a difficult one. Oh, Tree, can you go kill that uh, witch? Actually, I think the best way to fight this witch is actually just going with the block and there it goes. Literally, it went straight up. This is my favorite ability that I've ever seen in an item. Like, it literally just causes mayhem. Always. Oh, zombie and skeleton. This might be the perfect match. Okay, so I just gotta kill one of these, and that is a lot of them. Okay, so I can slam, go. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. I'm actually taking a lot more damage, and oh, and there we go. Just like that, gauntlet upgrade, and we get the infinity gold gauntlet, which literally looks like a normal infinity gauntlet. Would this be the normal infinity gauntlet? It does look like it has all the infinity stones with the time stone, the soul stone, the power stone, the mind stone, literally every single one, but it's just straight up gold. And with this gauntlet, we get the brand new ability of X-Ray, which sounds very overpowered and oddly enough, plus more question mark. Is this kind of like the wide creepers where it get weird abilities too? Because I'm not really sure what to expect with that one. But on the bright side, we get another upgrade of... Actually, but no bright side. We get no upgrade. And what it says is now not even the ores are safe. Your gauntlet really is the ultimate tool. Collect 20 diamonds to advance. Okay, that's going to be a lot of diamonds. But on the bright side, we now get literally the brand new ability. I kind of completely missed it there. Up with right click, we get literally full on x-ray. That is a very overpowered, but we should probably get deeper in the cave to actually use it the right way, so let me get a little bit deeper down. Alright, x-ray again, and, uh, no diamonds. Oh, no, definitely a lot of diamonds. Okay, we got diamonds right there, and diamonds right there, and I think the goal for this one is to collect 20 diamonds, so I guess I could go ahead and start mining this. It's gonna be very easy, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, this might be one of the easiest challenges when it comes to the gauntlets. That was, like, seven, and this is eight, so that's gonna be 
we've already 15 diamonds done just like that. So definitely don't mind if I do. But before we go ahead and continue to the next gauntlet, I actually want to go ahead and try out the next structure ability, which I guess I'm going to have to go up to the surface to use. So give me one second. Okay, so the old structure is literally right there. So let's see what happens with the diamond one. Here we go in three, two, one. Okay. For some reason, I thought this was going to be a diamond structure, but I forgot that it's straight up a gold one. And is this like a barn? Let me go ahead and go down real quick. And yep, it's literally a barn. So before anything, let's block in and go block you over there. Oh, he's just floating. When I right click a mob, do they float now? Oh, never mind. Okay, wait. Not really sure why that guy was floating, but... Oh, wait. I think another secret ability I got is I can literally just make mobs float forever. Look at him go. Have a great life, buddy. Anyways, though, now with that being done, I guess we should probably head back down, and I think the easiest way of heading back down is definitely with a tree launcher. Oh, wait. Never mind. I never went to the top of the barn. I kind of killed some mobs and never did anything. So what's up here besides one spider, which... Well, spider's no longer up here, and it looks like there's really just not much besides, like, some wheat. So let's go all the way back down, throw some more trees, and I think I'm going to activate X-Ray again and see if we can get some more diamonds as soon as I can. So X-Ray, and just like that, literally so many diamonds right away, right in front of us. So uh, don't mind me, just going to get that, and I think we only need this one last vein, and then we're good. So last diamond vein, and there we go, gauntlet upgrade, and just like that, we get a diamond infinity gauntlet, which actually looks really nice. Oh my gosh, these things are looking better and better every single time. But with the Diamond Infinity Gauntlet, we're going to be getting the brand new ability of Chunk Eraser. Oh my gosh, that sounds very overpowered. And as a new upgrade, we get Flame 1. But doesn't Flame only work for bows? How is that going to work? Your power knows no bounds. However, there is room to grow, so this is definitely not the best gauntlet. And the next thing I got to do is surround the gauntlet in Obsidian to embrace the strength. So like a craft, I'm guessing? Or like literally surrounded by Obsidian? I'm not really sure. But let's go ahead and do the next ability, which first, I kind of want to see what block cannon does. Oh, it's literally diamond blocks. Oh my gosh. Wait, we have limited diamonds now. Okay, don't mind if I do. I'm going to go ahead and grab that diamond block. 48 diamonds. Sure, why not? But the main thing I want to see is going to be the chunk eraser. So if I just right click right now, what happens? Oh my gosh. Holy okay. And it literally drops every single ingot I need. So if I go in here, does this chunk disappear? Oh my gosh. Literally, it disappears every single chunk I'm inside. This is insane. And the only thing we really got to do now is just get obsidian, which shouldn't be too difficult, right? I am the fastest obsidian miner in Minecraft. So real quick, I guess we'll get the obsidian right here. And that's only three obsidian, sadly. So let's real quick find a bigger lava pool. And we might also have a brand new structure. So I got to check that out too. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that reach 10? Oh my gosh. Okay. That is so broken. I'm kind of getting scared of what this dragon is going to be because we are getting way too overpowered right now. Where is the lava though? Okay. Actually, if I do need lava, I can do one thing and that's some x-ray and there's no lava. In the meantime, let's go ahead and throw some trees. You know, the usual thing here on the extra channel, we just throw trees and break stuff and then boom, this is what Mr. Beast wanted with team trees right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, that might be some lava. Okay. Let's get x-ray more one more time. And there we go, guys. Okay. That's a lot of obsidian. So mine you get the obsidian and i guess i might as well get some more for the nether portal all right so from all of that we finally got 33 obsidian i think that might be all we need right now so let's go ahead and throw away all that and before we craft the apparently obsidian or nether gauntlet i think it might be finally time we do the next structure which we might need to go all the way to the surface to do so give me one sec guys all right here we go diamond gauntlet what structure are we gonna get in three two one. Oh my gosh oh my gosh yet again i'm pretty sure we got this in another video but we're gonna be getting the avengers of full-on tower and does this go all the way to the void? Oh my gosh, wait, it doesn't. Oh no, that poor squid. Can I bring this guy back up? Okay, we're not doing that again. Now we have two towers and literally all the diamond blocks we'll ever need. I take no fall damage with the gauntlet. Okay, so it pretty much looks like it's the entire tower and I kind of want to see what's at the very top. So how do I get to the top? I guess I got to stack all the way up. Oh, and here we go, guys. Okay, so we're at the very top and I think there might be a room in this wall. Oh, never mind. That's literally a scam. Is there anything up here maybe? Or I think that might be it for the Avengers Tower. And because because we're already up here, we might as well go ahead and do the next gauntlet while we're here. And with our diamond gauntlet in the middle and eight more obsidian, I think we're going to be getting... Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks really cool. And just like that, guys, we get the infinity obsidian gauntlet. I am going to go ahead and grab that. But we get the brand new ability of summoner. Who are we going to be summoning? I have no idea. And the upgrade of Venom 1, which I'm going to guess we're going to be poisoning everything we fight now. And it says your gauntlet has grown stronger than diamond and bake in the fires of the nether to advance. Wait, what? Well, I guess we're going to the nether next and before anything let's real quick see what we summon also this might be the perfect spot because like it's kind of like on the helipad and here we go summoner in three two one right click okay <laughs> what 
it. Okay, so just like that, we get Thanos. We, we, we straight up are just getting Thanos. Thanos, do you fight people? Thanos, I'm gonna punch this guy. Will you fight him, Thanos? Oh, look at him go. Oh my gosh. Holy. Okay, Thanos is on mess around, but he just shot a bunch of power stone lasers at him. Well, just like that, we get our own minion Thanos, and I'm gonna guess that he comes in peace. So I guess all that's left to do now is really to just go to the nether. So let's go and mine this chunk. Oh, Thanos, this might have been a bad idea. Oh, okay, you left. We're good. Without further ado, get the obsidian out, make the portal, and will Thanos follow me in the nether? I guess I could just summon him again, so it doesn't really matter. And I'll probably test out the venom upgrade and the structure once we get inside. So, wish me luck, guys, and here we go. Wow, that's really lucky. Literally go inside, and immediately right in front of us, we have another fortress. So, something we can go ahead and do right now before we go and fight the blazes is actually try to get the obsidian gauntlet structure, which is gonna be, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, that could be a lot worse. What are you? What? what? <laughs> I don't like this mob. It doesn't look very nice. Anyways, just like that, we get a giant random mansion. All right, I'm gonna guess you live here and we're gonna call you Nestor Jr., okay? Nestor Jr. right there, you're gonna stay there. And inside, it kind of looks already like free anvils, which I kind of do need an anvil, so don't mind if I do. I'm gonna real quick steal that property. Let's look if there's anything up in these chests and pretty much the same old usual stuff. I definitely gotta make some diamond armor, so I think I might take the time right now to make the diamond armor finally. So diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, and we really don't need any of this now, so let's go ahead and go up. Is there any chest rooms or anything where I can get some really good stuff? That would be very appreciated. Double chest. Oh no, I had the chunk miner. What am I doing? Okay, that was kind of a new move. For now, we'll keep the psychic slam, but dang it. All right, let's go ahead and go to that fortress. I don't think there's anything waiting for us in this mansion, but it looked kind of cool. You know, I'll give it a nice A+. Plus. I kind of just realized I took down half the fortress when I made this giant structure. Anyways, uh, now we got to stack all the way up there, which is kind of a bit awkward, but you know, it's all worth it for the blazes. So really, man, really? Okay. You know what? Just because of that, I'm going to summon the man himself. Right click Thanos. Go do your thing. Now I'm going to head all the way up there. Give me one sec, guys. Okay. So literally two blaze powders right by each other. This is kind of perfect. Oh no. Wait, how am I going to kill these guys? Smite, I guess? Yes. Yeah, Smite might be the best option or maybe Thanos actually. I don't think the infinity gauntlet might be the best way to fight these guys. So I think I should probably upgrade the infinity gauntlet before I do anything. Psychic slam is not working out really and uh okay yeah this is getting a little bit messy let's get a better infinity gauntlet real quick and then come back so the challenge says bake in the fires of the nether to advance so do i just throw this in the fire and then i get the next gauntlet i'm not really sure but i guess we'll go ahead and see in three two one please don't lose the gauntlet oh gosh oh and it worked there we go and just like that we get a infinity netherite gauntlet wait so i didn't have to mine any netherite wait what the heck okay what with the new ability of Black Hole, okay. Plus more, Sharpness 100, Reach 10, Atomic Punch 1, and Flame 1, and Venom 1, and Looting 100. Okay, we need an Enderman, and we need a Blaze very quick. Forged in Fire, perfection is near, so this isn't the last one, apparently. Fill the Black Hole with Endstone. And now let's go ahead and try out this brand new Black Hole ability we got by just right-clicking and, oh gosh, oh, that's big. Oh no, the gas is literally inside of the black hole. Oh my gosh. Oh, that honestly isn't that big. Wait, I could just do a lot of black holes, can't I? One there, one there. Oh my gosh, we are causing a big mess, but it kind of looks cool at least. But now with the block cannon, do we throw netherite blocks? Oh my gosh. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a bunch of netherite blocks. And just like that, we can go ahead and use a smithing table. Why not? Let's go ahead and get full netherite armor. We finally have a full netherite. And uh, Thanos, I guess we can leave that for now. I kind of like your gauntlet, Thanos. It looks very nice compared to mine, but I think we might be done here, except we still gotta get blaze rods, and we gotta find an enderman to kill with looting 1,000. So give me one second, guys. I'll let me go find a blaze. Okay, we're back here, and I'm gonna get the tree launcher just in case I need it. We just gotta kill the blazes, and then we're good. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Please, I just gotta get one with the looting 1,000. <gasps> That's a lot of blaze rods! And just like that, guys, literally a whole stack of blaze rods from one blaze. I'm gonna get out of here now, and I'll let Thanos do his thing over there. Okay, so what we gotta find now is one Enderman, so give me one second, guys. Oh, and look at that, guys. Okay, one Enderman. How do I beat this guy with only one hit? There's lava all over the place. I guess Psychic Slam, maybe? Alright, let's hit him. Oh my gosh! Okay, well, that was a lot easier than I thought, and just like that, we have all the Ender Pearls we're ever gonna need, and literally, I can go ahead and make all the Eyes of Ender we need, too, so I guess that was a lot easier than I thought, and the only thing we gotta do 
do after this is now fill a black hole with endstone, which is going to be in the end. So stay tuned for that. But before we get to the end, let's go ahead and summon our final structure with one more infinity gauntlet ability in three, two, one. There's no structure. Wait, maybe I can't spawn the structure in the nether for this one. Let's real quick try in the overworld. Okay, let me try this one more time now. Shift right click and no structure. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Oh, my God. So in the end, we don't get a structure to throw, but instead we finally can summon an entire moon from the sky and uh, literally it crashes down onto earth and we have this giant hole now. So that might be one of the final most overpowered abilities of the infinity gauntlet. And apparently we're not done there yet though, because we have another infinity gauntlet we can make right after this. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and throw these eyes of ender and see where this stronghold is. Okay, straight that way. Oh wait, what if I just technically do mining slam? Oh, look how fast I'm going. That's actually a really quick way of traveling. I have ender and wait, did it go down there? I don't see anything right here. Did it go that way? Oh, it did. Okay, wait. So how should I go about going down here? Let's go ahead and play it safe and just do x-ray real quick and then see what happens. All right, x-ray. We don't see anything just yet. And I guess why not? Chalky racer. Oh my gosh. Okay, that could have been bad. Anyways, though, is that the portal room? I would have literally deleted the portal room. All right, let's get inside. And I think we might need Thanos real quick. So Thanos, where you at? Oh, there we go. And uh, you take care of them while I find the portal. Iron leggings. Actually, I don't even need any of that. Actually, I do need the bread. I am running out of food, but there we go. Okay, we got the portal room. I'm not sure if I can break this the old fashioned way because of uh, I might break the actual portal itself. So let's go ahead and just do this like this. <gasps> Thanos, you're literally breaking the portal and you just went inside without me. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, and we're in. Okay, okay, it looks like a normal dragon, and Thanos, what happened to you? Oh my gosh! So he went in without me, and now he's a dog! Oh. Oh, 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 you're just messing around. Okay, sounds good, Thanos. I, I did not expect that from you. But anyways, though, now that we're inside, what we did read from the lore of the gauntlet is that it said I need to fill a black hole with endstones. So with that being said, before we fight the dragon itself, let's real quick go to the black hole ability and let's see what happens now. Oh gosh, let's stay away. Stay away. Okay, black hole. This might literally throw me off the island. Let's get away from this real quick. Oh my gosh, that literally worked instantly. And just like that, we get the infinity endstone stone gauntlet oh gosh literally every single ability we've gotten so far and now air dash and all it says is perfection achieved and what is air dash oh gosh wait are these creepers nuke creepers oh my gosh the thanos do not fight the new creepers and now we have the brand new ability of air dash which literally just lets me fly okay why not i'm gonna guess the gauntlet kind of protects me from the crystal so let's go ahead and break all these why not okay that should be the last end crystal and now all we really gotta do is go inside here and what ability do we do? Block cannon, tree launcher? I think it might be the tree launcher. Wait, wh where did the dragon go? Did I hit it once and did it just fly all the way up? Warning, the final upgrade awaits. Finish the fight and collect the egg. Wait, so this is not the final gauntlet? Okay, so it's finally back and I guess we only have one shot for this. So black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole. Please, please work, please work, please work. No, I missed. Okay, come on, one more black hole. This might actually work. No, not again. Okay, so I have a little bit of an idea. What if I go instead for a psychic slam and then I left click the dragon or oh, dragon 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 Okay, I just need the dragon to come over here and then I should be good. Please perch down Oh gosh, how am I supposed to hit this thing? I don't know but we're going in and finally there we go It finally worked and just like that that is gonna be it for minecraft But they're gonna be custom gauntlets and actually it did say that the dragon egg was the key to the next gauntlet So are we gonna get another gauntlet when I right click this? Oh gosh, I lost it didn't I? Oh, there it is. Okay I'm not fully sure what's gonna happen when we do this, but please don't break the egg. And oh, wow, it literally just broke it with a gauntlet. But now that we have the dried egg, I'm gonna guess we just combine these two in a crafting table. So let's see what happens. Oh, that actually worked. And just like that, we get the final infinity gauntlet abilities snap. Oh no, this might be a really bad idea. And this might be the end of the video and the end of the challenge. So without further ado, guys, wish me luck. But before we right click, go ahead and join my discord. I'm actually doing a big announcement there soon. The link will be on the screen right now or in the description, but let's go ahead and do it in three, Two, one. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Oh, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. I do a video just like this one. Bye, guys.